first person that's spoken to me since my son and I moved here from Minnesota. Told your son Bobby he's 19. He's a good age. You're cougar. What the hell are you doing on top of my mom? I'm so sorry you had to see that. You didn't know that guy very well, did you? He was just in every single one of my classes. Hey, aren't you Renee's kid? Yeah, how did you know? <laughs> Your mom and I are really good friends, Bobby. She talks about you all the time. It's Robert, by the way. Did you give your mom a message that I called about going out tonight? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, unfortunately, she's uh, coming down with something, so she's not going to be able to make it. What can I get you, bud? Uh, I'm going to take a scotch on the rocks. You got it. You know what? Uh, hold the rocks and make it a double. Uh, your way. Scotch straight up. Very manly. Thank you. So, your mom was telling me you're not too crazy about her hanging out with the cougar crowd. It wasn't exactly great walking in on my mom with a kid my age. And? Well... Um, but I look at the flip side, and I find older women very attractive. Sure. These cougars are like parasites. Oh, they suck. What is it about uh, younger guys that you find so attractive? They're easy to manipulate. Manipulate? Yeah, you see, guys my age are set in their ways. But a young man, you can get to be or do anything. Are you saying you find me attractive? Uh, uh, Do you want to kiss me? I'd appreciate it. What kind of fun would I be to Renee if I took advantage of her son? It'd be a really, really good one. All in the mall, aren't you? Hello. I heard you were feeling well. No, I feel fine. But I got the call from Bobby. He said you guys weren't going out. That's too bad. I'll call you tomorrow. Have a good night. Good job. Did you come here tonight trying to get back at your mom? Yeah. I mean, you no, know, in all honesty, it started out that way. You know, you're a really beautiful woman. Hey, John, this kid here is uh, a kid. I think he got in with a fake ID. What? No, man. Well, let's see it, bud. Uh... <clears throat> Here's the deal, Arsenio Hollingsworth. You're going to take a cap on tonight, and I'm not going to see you around here for another couple of years, okay? Oh, but I... All right. I'm All right. Thanks. Thank you.